For photographer Anatoly Stepanov, the war started when someone pointed a machine gun at him. In the morning of April 13th, I got out of a taxi and heard a voice. It said, take this car out of the firing line. I turned around and saw a man lying right there with an assault rifle in his hands. Armed men were waiting to ambush the Ukrainian military column, which was to move through this bridge. It was a Russian special forces unit led by Igor Girkin that occupied the town of Slovyansk in the Donetsk region. The militants were keen to bring attention to the so-called Russian Spring, the incursion unleashed by the Kremlin in eastern Ukraine in 2014, was being promoted as a genuine separatist movement. So at that moment, they allowed the photographer to do his job. One of his shots features a notorious militant leader, Yevgeny Ponomarov, nicknamed Dingo, who was killed in battle soon after. The events that happened were difficult to accept. It felt unreal. But the next day something else would happen and it would completely trump the previous day's events. And eventually it escalated into an all-out war with artillery, howitzers and tanks. I could never imagine I'd come under shelling from tanks. But when he did, Anatoly made sure to keep the camera rolling. Anatoly found himself in life-threatening situations multiple times, documenting the developments in Debaltseva, Avdivka and Olivka, among others. For years he went to the front line in the Donbass, never deterred by the intensity of the fighting. His focus was always on the human aspect. I made a decision at one point that I want to work right in the thick of it, where they're fighting, in the trenches. Because if you just come and go, that's too superficial. One should document their whole experience, what they feel and see, their attitude towards life. At the same time, Anatoly says he has no desire to document conflicts in other places, while there's still a war going on in his home country. He says this one is personal and he will continue to do his part until the enemy is defeated. Otherwise Ukraine will cease to exist as an entity and the victims would all be in vain and then there would be a lot more victims to come. Some of Anatoly's subjects are no longer alive, but their memory lives on in his photos and videos. They have been published by leading media all over the world. There's a war in the centre of Europe. There is human suffering with no end in sight. Every time Anatoly Stepanov presses the shutter, he reminds the world and Ukrainians about that. Reported from the Donetsk region by Ihor Medelan for UATV.